here we are in the new year. Look, got a new top made by uh, Gorn Road Creations. New year. Actually, I moved to the new year. I moved to another, but it's still in the same village. Salamanca still moved to the same, but just a little bit up the street. New in, 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 in. Everything is new. It's a new year, and uh, it's a time for res resolution. But before we get to that, um, well, yeah, well, it's time for resolutions. I don't have any resolutions. I, I don't know. After a certain point in your life, you say resolutions, ah, you realize certain things. Anyway, but I did, um, because um, I periodically I read uh, from uh, the compensatory concept by Neely Fuller Jr. You see this uh, book here, United Independent Compensatory Code System Con Concept, this book here. Uh, you say, well, it's hardback, but that's because I put it in hardback. This is the old edition. There's a new one out, so check out Neely Fuller Jr. Thank you, do. But, you know, he has these areas of, of what's called nine areas of, uh, uh, of, 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 I don't know, what do they call Nine areas of human activity. I mean, like, the area one is economics, like that. Area two is education. Area three is entertainment. Area four is labor. Uh, area five is law. Area six is politics. Ooh, is politics. Politics goes on and politics got a lot. We'll get back to that one. Area seven is religion. Area eight is sex. And area nine is uh, war and counter war. Um, so, so these are nine areas of what you call the, of human activity, and everything should fit into those. And you can actually shoe, shoehorn them in and stuff if you, if, if you, you know, if you get lost. You know, you don't have to have a whole lot of things. And nine is one of those complete numbers. So don't go beyond nine. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Dr. Francis Cross Belting does go beyond nine. I think she's got 12 or something like that, spiritual number. But uh, what I'm interested in, as far as um, uh, behavior this year, in under, under politics, uh, there's a thing that says, uh, uh, never call anyone a liar. Never say that someone is a liar. Don't say that a person is lying. When a person makes a remark that you know is not true, say that the, the remark is not true. <laughs> That's all I say. It's not true. Um, Master Coley, um, my um, my associate out of Dumbaza, he always said that 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 person is a big storyteller. Well, uh, but anyway, so the reasons the explanation he gives is to call someone a liar is name calling. Get it? It is incorrect to call uh, anyone by any uh, name and or title except the name and or title that he or she asked to be called. Think about that. When a person makes a remark, let me just stay on that. The, the, the big thing about this is not the lying part, is that we need to stop name calling. You know, it's if, 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 especially now in the black community, at least in the United States, it's with the proper things call somebody a coon, somebody's clowning, whatever have you. Now, now that might, that's probably true for the time, but you don't know where that person is going. You don't know what contact that person is going to have. You don't know if that person is a coon one day and is going to be liberated the next. Plus, sometimes we mislabel people. Like, like you know, you say, my, my famous ones, you say, Uncle Tom, like it's a bad thing. But if you read, if you read the Harry Beecher Stowe's, you know, Uncle Tom Cabin, then you understand Uncle Tom's not the bad guy in that thing. He's not the Uncle Tom. The, that's Sambo's, but people don't research. That's why you have to research the thing. Anyway, so I just say that to say this whole thing, everybody's in a tizzy over, uh, over the politics or whatever have you. And I'm, I'm, well, you know, so you'll, you'll call somebody a, a, a racist or whatever have you. But if, unless they call themselves, but one of the things that Neely Fuller Jr. says, unless somebody calls themselves that, then you should, basically he's saying whatever somebody wants to be called, that's what you call them. It's as simple as that. You know, so if you're calling people names, all they all you can do is alienate them and pick a fight, and it is, it is actually a fight, and you're and you're actually reacting to things, and you don't even know the sources you get if that's correct. Again, you don't know if that person is actually a spy for the for your cause that later on will be revealed. You never know. So that's one thing. But what what really concerns me, um, the most upsetting thing I found in this new year recently, is uh, this whole thing. Um, I got this order, get this come from, I forget where this comes from. I think it's from The Intercept. I subscribe to The Intercept. Um, it's an online, but whatever. Uh, in fact, make sure you, make sure instead of going over these these other sources, they, they have a thing with fake news, don't forget all that. You can, you can create, because of the internet, because of the way of the world, you can create your own sources. You don't have to rely on the, those big, the, those people that do the bidding of, of governments and, and of, of 
ag other agendas. You can pick your 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 what you let into your brain. The intercept is one of those things that I that I actually use. But it says here that in 2006, just one percent of commandos sent overseas were deployed were deployed in the U.S. Africa Command Area of Operations. Just one percent, and this is in 2006. We're talking about six years ago, well, seven years ago. What year we are? Whatever year we're in, we're ten years ago. Sorry, eleven years ago. <laughs> uh, in 2016, okay, ten after that. Seventeen point twenty-six percent. So we went from one percent in 2006 to seventeen point twenty-six percent of all U.S. Um, Special Operation Forces, Navy SEALs and the Green Berets among them, you know, they have special forces, you don't even, now they got special forces, you probably don't, they don't even have a name, they just say, go do something. Um, uh, they were deployed above, uh, uh, deployed abroad, were, uh, were sent to Africa according to the data supplied to the intercept by the U.S. Special Operations Command. So this comes from the, um, from, you know, from, from the rifle barrel, you know. The total uh, ranks, the total ranks second only to the greater Middle East where the U.S. is waging a war against enemies in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, like that. Uh, we're not even talking about hardware and stuff that goes to the China Sea. So, 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 so what is, what's concerning me about this uh, really is that we, in, in, in a 10-year span, we went from no, of, of just sending, uh, just sending to Africa, you know, uh, um, bad goods, you know, dumping stuff on Africa, to now sending the military. Now they're calling in. I forget what they. Call, I don't know what they call it. But they call these things covert wars or whatever, or, or advice, whatever have you. But one of the things I used to do when I first um, really got very, very involved in, in other forms of media aside from theater or radio. Uh, was I used to um, I still do an archive and I, I record record things and in the eighties I would record I would record you know people like Ron Dellums, uh, uh, Thomas Sankata, you know uh, 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 what's that Ralph Ralph McKee, um, the CIA guy, uh, John Stockwell who had Patrice Lumumba in the boot of his car, you know he, I'm recording all these people saying what they did. This is in the eighties, but one of the most important people that I recorded was this guy named um, uh, Michael Clare. I think he has a son now that does stuff, but maybe Michael's still around. Anyway, uh, Michael Clare, he would talk about low intensity warfare. Okay, now remember, Carter was, was one of those, President Carter, he was one of those people that didn't have a, a war, he didn't start a war. But in, under his time, they went to this, what's called low intensity warfare. So they would do, this is where U.S. really spread their military operations all around the world to a, a huge, a huge degree. And, and this low intensity warfare is things like, let me put this, and they would test things and stuff like that. Like, like, like for instance, right now in Syria, when they're bombing in Syria, you know, you see cluster bombs or whatever have you. In fact, they ran out, they, they bombed Syria so much, they ran out of bombs. How do you run out of, okay, you do. And this is just making them arms mercy people. And anyway, I don't want to go long, long on this. So I'm just saying, in this year, um, uh, I told you my concern is that uh, this military thing is getting way out of hand, and people are calling people people calling people names to get them, you know, to 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 to, to create the enemy, you know. I mean, even when you're when you're training, you know, when when you when you have a clear, when they got Saddam Hussein, they make targets and say, you know, they call people names, ragheads or whatever. Have you, you know, there was a thing in Florida where they they took uh, portraits of, of black men. And they would have target practice. The police would have target practice with, with, with black men and stuff like that. So you see that you, they become the enemy, and then you label them something. Every time you see this person, this is the enemy. This is a this is a not not a good person. Even though that other people look like that, this is not a good person. So that's it. So my my big thing this year is no name calling at all. Don't call anybody out of their name. If they want to be called a, a killer or whatever they want to be called, or you know, a merchant of death or whatever they want to be called, that's fine. But don't you take it upon yourself to call me. Even if you have the evidence, don't you do that. Let the evidence speak for itself. You post something the way it is, let the evidence speak for itself. That's my advice, my New Year's advice. That's advice from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.